rest with uh, Lamar Jackson and Katie. I told them you guys have been really on me for giving them some rest. So they said, no, I, I think obviously we know they, they've had a, you know, a, a lot of minutes recently. And, uh, you know, I think they both wanted to play, but it was an opportunity to try to get a little bit of a respite during this tough stretch, uh, especially without Joe in the lineup, you know, puts a little more pressure on guys. And so, um, you know, we just, we're just taking the chance and roll the dice a little bit here tonight. <laughs> I know you're challenging all your guys to step up, but specifically with, with James, what, what would you like to see from mm. him in the game? Uh, I just want James to have fun, be himself, and I enjoy being back here in Houston and playing and uh, have a great game and, and uh, you know, be himself, make his teammates better, do all the things he does, and, uh, and, and get a win. Excited that you started Uh I have. No. <laughs> It's possible. It's possible. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we could play 10, 11 guys tonight, so we'll see how that pans out. Yeah, you know, uh, not. I wouldn't say there's like any limit, but it uh, usually presents itself. Um, so I, I guess the answer is no, but I wouldn't expect him to play 30-something minutes. You know, especially this early in a back-to-back -back and all that stuff. But uh, so so uh, no. But you know, and I doubt he'll he'll be in the area where he's you know playing at thirty plus minutes tonight. Coach Nick and uh, and Lamarcus have such different profiles mm -hmm. the That kind of makes it less a bit more unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nice for us to have those options. You know, Nick being a, a versatile, athletic uh, defender and and roller. Um, LA being a, a scorer and an experienced veteran who who understands all the concepts of both ends of the floor, you know that, that's really valuable for us to have both. Is, it, is there a world where you play both of them at the same time, or we pass the area to victory? Yeah, I, just, yeah, I don't. I doubt it. You know, I wouldn't say never, but it's probably not uh, as conducive to you know matchups uh, in today's game. But you never know. What stands out about James Johnson's effort? Yeah, he's. Uh, you know, he's a he's an interesting player for us. You know, his size, length, uh, agility, speed, playmaking, uh, being able to guard multiple positions, physicality. You know, he brings a lot to the table for us. So we we really enjoyed him being in our team and and kind of watching him uh, you know fit in here has been exciting. I thought he had a huge impact um, last night, and uh, it's fun to watch him out there. Doing more what? It's you know, James is uh, the type of player that I don't I don't have a ton of rules for him. You know, I, I we try to collaborate on what the process is for this team to to thrive and get to its best level. But you know, if he wants to take more mid range shots, you know. He can. He's more than welcome to to partake. Steve, uh, at the start of the season, Nick was a starter. Uh, you know, what went into that thinking, and is he just not in a place physically where he could do that? Again? No, I don't. I think that he's capable. Um, I think the start of the, start of the year, we we looked at big lineups just to experiment with that early. You know, like we. I think we said at the time, you know, we went into camp with uh, with Kai and then with Kai not being there, it was almost like we started over, camp started over. And so the regular season was upon us before we knew what direction we wanted to go. So we experimented and we still experiment. But, you know, that was just, I think, early taking a look at some things and being able to have a little bit of an understanding of what that would look like. And uh, I don't think that's anything to do with Nick starting or not. Um you know, that was more just, can we play two bigs and how did that look? More hyper-focused on the road. I mean, you guys have the same mentality in the whole world way each game, but what's, what's allowed you guys to be as successful as you can on the road? Well, I think we have uh, veteran players who, who enjoy playing on the road and, and uh, you know, are excited by the challenge to play in other people's buildings. Uh, we've also, I think, probably played a tougher schedule at home. Uh, so that may be a part of it. Um, but, you know, we I think we were good on the road last year. Uh, I expect us to be good on the road this year. But, you know, for me, again, it's about progress. Can we continue to get better and chip away and uh, 
and be better, uh, you know, next week than we were this week and the subsequent weeks as well. How did the Nick is a lot of threat open up the offense for everybody else on the team? Well, it can if he, if he can get behind the defense. You know, that puts more pressure on the rim. Um, you know, it, it there's a gravity to that as well. So, you know, it can be a factor. It's, it's you know, like I think I said to you guys recently, it's that's, that's not like an automatic, you know. You know, he has that in, in his game, and he can present that for us and, and it, for other defenses. But... You know, it's easier said than done. So some nights it's just not there, and some nights uh, it is. Uh, but he's a developing player still who's, you know, probably hasn't played 82 NBA games. So we, we also have to continue to work with him to get better and to see, recognize, and he's doing great. But, uh, you know, that process is a part of that as well. And I think his conditioning improves and he's able to play more minutes effectively, but that open the door for you guys to go back and throw more switch and have people. It does. And I think he gives us that layer where we, where he can guard multiple positions and gives us versatility. And having a guy out there that can guard perimeter players but still protect your rim and rebound, uh, you know, is, is is an excellent kind of option for us. Um, so I think he, he definitely improves us at that end of the floor. And he, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think he had the highest plus minus the other night. Uh, what was it that was making him so effective uh, against Dallas. Well, I think he, you know he Nick Nick did a great job uh, in our switching. You know he's able to cover multiple positions, and we held him to what was it 13 points in the fourth quarter. So your your plus minus is going to be high. Um, so I don't want to give like it's all because of Nick, but at the same time he had a big impact on the game. But it is a small sample, so we don't get too carried away with plus minus on a night to night basis, especially in a you know whenever he played 20 minutes or whatever. I, I can't remember what he played, but. Uh, you know, so, he, but yes, we, we, we love his attributes and what he can bring to the team and how he can affect teams in our switching defense, but just in general, defensively, you know, he has different, uh, different skill sets than anyone on the roster. Can you tell whether this name means to James? You know, yeah. And- yeah. I definitely think it means something to James, you know, um, I don't want to like overstate it, but I also don't want to understate it. You know, he had a historic run here and I know this city means, a lot to him and you know he, he's you know had uh, such a fantastic uh, kind of relationship with with the city and the organization and and uh, those historic kind of seasons and numbers that he put up here I think it always is going to be special to him Nick Friedel. Steve good to see you uh, I got a couple quick Steph questions with him on the verge of this record the first one is either when you were playing against him or when you started working with him the last few years, was there a moment that you remember where you thought this guy's just built differently? You know, I don't know that I have a moment, but, um, you know, I always liked his game, you know, know, in college, playing him in the NBA. You know, I think when I first, first started playing against him, um, there, there might have been a little bit of big brother, little brother, where I, I, I felt like I had the upper hand. And then by the time I was going out of the league, it had it was like I, I, had, not, I had no business being on the court with him. And, uh, you know, he just took his game to another level, um, it, it, comparative to everybody, you know, historically to another level, the way he's able to uh, accurately um, play this game with such – you know, crazy diversity, you know, he's his ability to shoot and make plays in so many different ways. And, and with so much accuracy and range and dexterity is, you know, it's, it's almost, we take it for granted because it, it's now the new normal and, and he's influenced other players and, and he's still at the top of that list, but you know, it's, uh, you know, taking a step back, it is kind of still mind boggling. Uh, although it has become a, uh, I just accepted that that is something. So I don't know about a moment, but just the constant ascension, the consistency, the the way he works, the uncomplicated joy he brings every night. You know, these are all components that make him, you know, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. As a fan, as somebody who worked with him like you did, is there a specific play or a shot that, that comes to mind when you think of that joy or that greatness? 
So many. I mean, the guy makes uh, like incredible shots all the time. Um, like I said, it's almost, I mean, even what did he make one the other day from like the exit in the, <laughs> in the arena? Like, I mean, even that, just like he's in it for the right reasons. He loves the game. It's about fun and joy and spirit. And, um, you know, that kind of stuff, I think, means a tremendous amount to basketball, the community, his teammates, all those things that just there's a, you know, an athlete out there that is, like I said, just has this uncomplicated joy. Uh, you know, that that's not easy. That's 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 not something that comes along every day when you're put in this kind of pressure mix, mix, mixer of the NBA. So. Um, you know, he's just got this incredible combination of personality, mindset, approach, um, competitiveness, skill, and uh, and work ethic. So it's, you know, he's a very, very unique, special one of one. Thank you. Good.